What's up everybody? Today we're talking about Tangerine Express Hot Sauce from Stone Brewing. Tangerine Express Hot Sauce from Stone Brewing. Yeah, uh, I think both of us are a big fan of Stone Brewing. Definitely. Uh, you know, one of the kind of OGs of the uh, California IPA, that hazy IPA. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, been drinking their stuff for a long time, but I think yeah. this is the first hot sauce from them. Definitely our first sauce from them. Uh, I took a trip to San Diego three four weeks ago and went there and checked out their gift shop and this is the only sauce that i bought but it sounded like the best one when i was there so yeah yeah uh looks like they team up with a company called carl's bad gourmet um and it looks like they do four or five different hot sauces and then maybe four or five other sauces like a barbecue sauce and uh, mustard and some stuff like that uh so hopefully we like this one and gives us an excuse to try some more yeah absolutely but um well guys the uh ingredient list on this one is tangerine express ipa tangerine juice apple cider vinegar habanero chilies pineapple juice distilled vinegar, honey, tangerine zest, salt, pectin, crushed red pepper, black pepper, ginger, coriander seeds, xanthan gum, Worcestershire sauce, and yeah, um, everything. Is, uh, yeah, all nice. that stuff is part of the Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Like. Yeah, right. So, yeah. Um, well, I don't know. Should we go and get into it? Yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh. I think you called this. <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Need an opening device. Uh, well, they automatically get dinged for lack of per perforation. But, well, might have to blame that one on Carl's back door. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. Seems thick. I really liked their, uh, I don't know how many breweries they had or if there's only one giant one, but that smells really good. We went to a, <laughs> kind of reminds went, me of a we sweet went, barbecue We went to sauce. a very big brewery that, yeah, I mean, it was really cool. I could have spent all day there, but you know, can't do that when you have a baby, so. Shit thick. Um, does that does that smell like kind of sweet barbecue sauce to you? Yeah, I got that vibe. I'm kind of getting that vibe, but yeah. Hmm. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa! It definitely has some heat. Right more, front. more heat than I thought it would. And and then that citrus really hits too. Um, I don't think I've had a lot of things like this that has that much heat level with a citrus. Um, but it's pretty good. It's very it's definitely very thick that molasses kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, comes through as far as the consistency goes. Um, but yeah, I feel like Man, you really kind of get that that tangerine, honey, pineapple. Um, obviously, the habanero is what kind of hits me right up front. Um, and, I mean, as much as I love their beer, I don't love it when I can taste a lot of beer in a hot sauce. And I that's the case with this. I don't really taste the beer. Right, yeah. Um, it's pretty tasty. No, I really like that. That is that is really like a spicy barbecue sauce. like. But, yeah, it, yeah, it's 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 sweet and spicy. Like I feel like normally you go to a barbecue joint, you got like the sweet bottle and the heat bottle. Yeah, and you kind of mix them together. 
to my get opinion, it. something that'd be really good on burnt ends. Yeah, dude, burnt you ends know, on a bun. Burnt ends oh, yeah. or pork belly or something like that, I think would be amazing. Yeah, we should probably go back in here. Um, hmm. But yeah, it does. It definitely has more heat than I was expecting. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know how else to describe this besides kind of like a, a, a high end barbecue sauce that has good heat and sweet. Yeah. Cheers. Get the honey too. Like, yeah, it's, it's a good blend. Um,. <clears throat> I'm a fan. Uh, like I said, I I don't see myself using that on much other besides than like a barbecue dish, meat, uh, ribs. Yeah. I mean, even like pulled pork or yeah. shredded chicken breast, whatever. Yeah. Um, mixing that in some like some beans, be killer. Um, I don't know, you got any other? I think. I mean, honestly, too, I think this would be something that would just be really good in whatever kind of marinade you're making. I think it would. Be a good addition to any marinade. Yeah. Um, heat wise, where you, where are you thinking of putting this one? I think I gotta go around a five. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I would agree. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, it's got it, it does linger a bit. It's still there. Definitely it's still got some heat going on. Um, yeah, but super tasty. Um, I. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember what the Tangerine Express tastes like. I feel like the Tangerine Express is a little more. Well, I mean, obviously it's not IPA, so it's super hoppy. But I feel like it's not quite as citrus forward as some of their other, like their Ripper or yeah. stuff like that. Right. Um, but um, it's definitely got some good flavor to it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm into it. Yep. So yeah, you know, Stone, you want to send some stuff our way. Yeah, we'll review it. We'll review it. So. Yeah. Or we'll, some merch. I really fail for not wearing a shirt today because I have three Stone shirts. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> love your love your merch, too. So, yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, man. Well, uh, you got anything else to add on this one? No, that's right. it. Well, Stone, uh, killer job. Uh, we look forward to hopefully trying some more stuff uh you guys are collaborating with carl's bad gourmet on and yeah thanks for checking this one out till next time keep up the heat